Good evening, everybody! Welcome to the Intercity Longford Improv Jam! Thank you, Michael Olivier. He will be our musical director tonight, and he uh, already starts to amaze us with these amazing songs. And now let's discover a little bit about this jam. Let's go directly into our guidelines. So I will share my screen with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. I guess that you are already seeing here our guidelines. Yes. <laughs> so, this is the Intercity Long Form Improv Jam, the best Intercity Long Form Improv Jam ever. And we have here some issues, but there's no problem because how does it work? Because I know there are some new people tonight. You are all welcome, the people who used to come, the new ones, this is a whole community. And the, so everybody who is here has been already assigned uh, to a musical or a non-musical team. Yes. And then uh, we have the montage. A montage, it's the format. So it will be in this, in this tonight we'll have 20 minutes per team as we have three different teams. And uh, in this format, the scenes can be related or not related. So uh, feel free uh, just to, uh, to go and create your scenes. And how, you ask me, how do we change the scenes? So it's very easy. We have this secret power, which is called the sweep power. So I invite you all to turn on your cameras and let's practice all of us this. We, we will do this motion and we'll say sweep, 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 sweep. Oh, that's that's amazing. In so like this, we can start all a new scene, and we have also some extra powers. For for example, the tag out power. For example, I'm here in a scene with Liza, and then someone wants to um to continue the scene just with Liza, not with me, and it's okay because it's improv. And so, uh, for instance, Bridget will say tag out Angel, and I will go away, and so Bridget will uh, continue or start a new scene with Liza. Liza. Uh, and so it's it's very easy. We have all these superpowers to change the scenes, and uh, also we will have this um, this help uh, someone uh, this like it's like an angel <laughs> that <laughs> comes to to our set and inform us when we will have only two minutes left. So maybe uh, it's your opportunity to create a great and a great final scene. So uh, in this case, you'll have 20 minutes. So when um, 20, uh, when 18 minutes have passed, this uh, wonderful person will appear and you'll say you'll have 20 minutes left. So let's enjoy these two minutes left. So, sorry. Uh, so uh, here um, some tips to help you uh, because we will. Um, advise you to please mute your audio if you are not participating on the set uh, to help the people who is participating but if you are uh, on the set if your team is, is playing you can keep your audio on uh, to be easier for you than to um, to go into a new scene or not and also uh, you can uh, encourage your your team by laughing uh, all this it's allowed but uh, we have here calling, calling. Our colleague here, he was muted. And why? Why? Because maybe he had too much background sound. Uh, may, maybe there was a train passing, there was a car, there was a lot of rain. So this may happen uh, just because uh, we want uh, that everybody have here a great experience. But don't worry, you will we'll mute you just for a while. And then uh, here are some um, Zoom settings. So if you haven't done this yet, uh, it will help you. You can go to your Zoom uh, settings, to your video settings, and you can uh, check here this box 
uh, which says hide non-video participants. Like this, you will have a better experience and also choose the option gallery view while you are watching or playing on the sets. And oh my god, we are streaming on Facebook, yeah! We are connected also to all these people who, uh, who are watching us uh, in different countries, in different planets, uh, everywhere in our dreams, in the reality or not. So uh, you can also share uh, the link, uh, the streaming link, and uh, like this you can uh, show everybody um, when you are playing, it's it's amazing. Ah, uh, here we have um, some indications to help um, everybody to have here a great experience to create a safe space. So we have some topics um, that we encourage you to 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 avoid. Um, for instance, like political, uh, COVID related, religion, spirituality, blue humor, stalking cursing uh, because we really have to really want to have a respectful space and we all come from different backgrounds so uh, this may be important and we do have also a list of banned topics topics that are not allowed like for instance uh, here flushing each other raci racism sexism mental illness uh, anything that makes a person's identity the butt of a joke and uh, these are just examples but I, I think we we all agree that um not not using these topics will allow us to be, have here a better experience but we in order to uh, we want everybody to feel to feel uh, to feel well and if there is something during the jam that makes you feel uncomfortable if you see that uh, one of the banished topics um, or an, another similar topic um, is there you can, everybody can turn on the camera and say time out time out uh, because we will understand that it's something that you feel that uh, violates the jam guidelines um so if you if you don't feel comfortable um with this option you can also uh, me message uh, in the chat uh, one of the volunteers myself or one of the volunteers and we will try then to uh, or to stop the scene and uh, also to 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 help this help help you uh, that does not happen any uh, anymore well and now here are some tips for improve on zoom that are also good tips for in-person improve so one person speaking at a time at time um, don't be rude of course um, use use your actual face even if uh, you'd like to use, for example, a stuffed animal, something, but we uh, like to see your face. Uh, Self-manage playing time. So if you notice there's someone, someone in your team that's a little bit shy and uh, hasn't played yet, so you can, for instance, in, tag in and you say the name of this colleague, for instance, um, just uh, for it just to help all the colleagues and uh, when improving uh, music don't worry about lag yes because here we have wonderful musical director today we have michael olivier yeah that it's here um yeah you can give it up for michael Yay! olivier yeah yeah. 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 Michael. yeah he will be will be here uh and he will help you help you uh so don't worry about lag uh because um all the musical directors here are very highly qualified and uh, just just have fun just just enjoy this experience this community experience in this improve experience yes and now oh my god i think we need some drum rolls because if you are not aware yet of who is our headlining team for tonight we will discover just now Dun, 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 dun. Michael Olivier, help me now to create the mystery, the suspense, atmosphere. Dun, 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 dun. And... <laughs> oh my god, it's sensitive people. Yes, Yay. sensitive people. Yay! Yeah, sensible yeah. people directly from Reno. 
they will be they are here tonight and so after the third set uh they will be headlining this this jam tonight thank you thank you very much uh sensitive people for being here uh, and now oh my god scene maybe we are going directly into a first team of the evening so we will have here Thank you, thank you, Michael. So I will um, invite here our first host. Oh my God, it's David. Actually, David. If, you read, if you read that correctly, it's actually my twin, Shaved DePiro, who's actually an Aussie. Ooh. My twin brother. Okay, oh, so. Oh, thank you, David. Keep one, as soon as I announce you, turn on your cameras. Aurora from Reno. Michael Olivier from San Mateo, California. Kent from Omaha, Nebraska. Lisa Wood from Reno. Laura Zaro from San Francisco, California. And Greg Little from Berkeley, California. And your timer for this is not taken. We will tell you when you have two minutes left. That's all you need to see from me. Good evening. We are Team mm -hmm. One. And I would like to get a suggestion of a place that you would like to go to. Cheese Disneyland. factory. <laughs> I heard I, England. I heard cheese England factory. cheese factory too. So maybe it could be a cheese factory in England. <laughs> Thank you, England. Thank you, England Thank factory. You. is not the cheese I expected. I expected it to be a lot squeakier. Uh, uh, squeakier, you say? You tell him, honey. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Fresh, Let me take, easy, squeaky. I'll take, I'll take this back. I'll, 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 I'll be yeah, right back. Squeakier cheese, please. Um, the squeakier cheese, this one. Yes. This one. Come Give him an inch. You know, yeah, yeah. The the sign did say the squeakiest cheese. Yeah, and they said squeak and bubble was on the mm. menu. I assumed it would be even further squeakier than normal. So, madams, your squeaky cheese. Thank you. Thank you. No, no problem. Will there be anything else? Mm. We'll let you know. It's. Um, if you don't mind, please give that uh, cheese a squeak now so I can make sure it's okay. okay. Hmm. I think it's, squeak. it'll do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's, it's not bad, it's not bad. I'm so glad to be here with you though. This food tour was the best idea. I love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, my, my midsection would argue, but no, going like we went to all of the places in Europe and we're ending with England like you do. Um, but this, you know, the culinary, you know, punctuation being England. Right. I mean, having uh, paella, paella in Spain was nice. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, some of those other things, but really when you think good food, you think Great Britain and you exactly. think. Exactly. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, ah, oof. Oh, well, go ahead. I mean, don't wait. You, oh. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, Madame. So would, would you like a refill of your tea? Uh, certainly, that would be great. Oh, you, oh, you? Thank you. Uh, yes, me too, please. Yes, yes. Um, thanks. Cheers. Oh, yes, cheers. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> I mean, it is what they're known for. So, you know, tea, 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 and tea. Cheese. cheese, cheese and tea. And and honestly, the what I know about British cheese can be summed up in Monty Python sketch. So I'm just glad they had cheese at all. Right, right. Well, yes. And my knowledge of tea is really limited 
do cartoons of British people and Mr. Bean and mm -hmm. tap out both and bring somebody else in. <laughs> <laughs> More shoes for the tea. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I can't hear you. What? More shoes for the tea. Oh, oh, oh. These darn tourists. These darn tourists. Why is it always the squeaky cheese? They darn... love the squeaky cheese. Watch out, there's a cat behind you. Oh, it's the hardest. <laughs> it's the hardest. Good, good job, Beatrice, good job. Thank you, thank you, you saved my life. He's pausing back there though. I'll keep an eye on him. All right, thank you. I think, okay. I think, yeah. Uh, All right, okay. Oh. I think she's sweeping us. She's sweeping the floor or something. I can't hear you. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. That's what my mom used to say. It's true. It's true. The squeaky wheel does get the grease. I want grease. You won't freeze? I want grease. <laughs> oh, you want grease. I want grease. That's what I'm saying here. I'm, I'm making it known that I want grease. Okay. Well, I respect that. I respect it. And let me know what, what, what can I do for you to make your living here better? That guy who popped in like a minute ago, bring him back. Okay. Yes. okay. Hi. Sorry. I live here too. I just didn't want to I kind of yeah. shy. I'm sorry. You're I'm new? sorry. I am new. I, I wanted to meet all of the people who live in this rooming house. Um, well, I'm Fred. I've Hi, lived Fred. Here for a year. Um, I've only left the house twice. You've only left the house twice. Yes. That is, I've also only lived in a house twice. I. <laughs> I think there's an error in communication here. I think <laughs> that he said that he's only left the house twice and you've only lived in a house twice. I've only lived in a house twice. Uh huh. Yes. Two houses. I've only laughed in a house twice. Oh. I, I don't do anything funny or hear anything funny or see anything funny. I'm sorry to interrupt your conversation, but it sounded so interesting. Just wanted to let you know I've only painted a house twice. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. I was going to say that that's funny, but it, it didn't make me laugh. It's just weird. It's, it's, it, you know. Well, I don't know if, if you laugh a, a third time. I don't know if you really belong here. I'm not going to. Uh, was, um, this is kind of a twice house. Right. Well, if I do laugh, let's just say that happens maybe you could leave the house and you could live in another one i would have to leave this house yeah i would have to live in a third house if you were to laugh it's not gonna work if i had left the house i would have left a third time and then i i couldn't tell that story anymore hmm. i'm just not gonna laugh that's probably best okay i've only could gonna work out well here i think I've only cooked dinner twice. That's a that's a rough one. Um, how do you survive? Take out. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that's yeah, that's how I survive. Except take in because I don't leave the house. Right, right. I hire somebody to pull, you, cook the food and deliver it to me. Do you ever squeak? I mean, to get the grease, do you ever get the grease? Well, no, I feel like if I were to squeak and even to try to get the grease that I'd have to do it again and then never again. It's, 
it really gets in the way of, of a lot of grease squeaking this fear of that I have to do it exactly twice. I'm sure you Sweet. understand. Janine, Jan Janine, this is incredible. You're appearing and disappearing. Oh, I'm here, Paul. I'm here. I, um, I love that ability, Janine. <laughs> The afterlife's a lot different than I thought. I thought it was going to be kind of intuitive, and it's it's really not been. I tell you, is the, they have a clicker or something, or how does it work? Yeah, well, yeah, but it's it's three buttons, not one, and I keep popping up in weird places. And you, you know, I've never been good with technology, and I really wish they just stayed with the old school heaven, not this, because <sighs> oh, yeah. tag out, Michael. Ah, what are you what doing are you in my dressing room? room? I don't know. I just, yeah. that, you just popped right in. How did you get here? I don't know. Honestly, it was, it was. Tag out Laura. God. Where, well, dressing room? Oh, God. Oh, 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 I, oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody help, help me out of Okay, well, look. Oh, spirits, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. I am, I've been trying for years to reach you. I want to help you cross the veil. Yes, can you give me detailed instructions for the craftsman model? Have you tried downloading them? No, she said she doesn't have the right firmware. Downloading. Have you tried turning it off and turning it on again? Off and on. Okay. You still see me, right? Okay, just right there. It's getting hazy. I, I can't connect to you anymore. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm still with you. Uh, oh. Hey, you know what? Those okay. pants look good. You should get them. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. I, I'm I'm so glad you keep coming to visit me, Jane. I just miss you so much. You know, time is different. Spirits, here. spirits. My my friend is 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 dying. Please, please help in some way. <laughs> you just get these. You just get these requests all the time. It's very interruptive. <laughs> Is there anyone out there? I thought is I'd write a book while I was up here and it just hasn't happened, but oh, bring a manual. Bring, bring a manual. I'm I don't understand. You need a manual? I my friend is dying. This is oh, Janine, 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 watch this, watch this. Placebo effect. Watch this. I will help you. I will help you. Ding, she's better. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. oh, I feel oh. so good. This is amazing. I pray, I pray it's, it's all going to be okay. Believe in All right, Fred, everybody. let's go. Let's go out to dinner. I need to try this. That was that was you amazing. You, you don't see? have any special powers, right? That was just I no, I don't think so unless unless I'm dead. Oh, spirits. I waited until the last minute to do my book report. Is there anything you can do for me? Right, let me this Right, okay. You, you take it, go ahead, go ahead. Show me how it's done. Ding. Oh my God, this is brilliant. This is so well written and in my own words. I am cruising for an A. Thank you so much, spirits. Wow, as long as, long as you know, as long as they're thankful like that, I don't know what I would do if we got somebody who was just nasty. Oh, I know, I know. But you probably have some good stories, I'm sure. I wonder if we can use it for, uh, you know, punishment. I wonder. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to wait and see if somebody shows up. <laughs> We've punished him ahead of time. He has no voice. There. <laughs> oh, th th thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm <laughs> sure. Spirits, I think the lines were crossed. There was another person's voice on the line and it was very confusing to me, but are, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you, go ahead. 
Why? Oh yes, spirits, did you try turning it off and on again? Yes, that was useless. Um, Waste of time. But you can hear me now. Yes. yes. Do you so want to cross the veil? Uh, overrated. Maybe here. That's kind of fun. Oh. She's grumpy, but she left, so he didn't get a chance to punish her. Oh, I spirits, I um I hate to ask, but my neighbor has uh, more stuff than me. And I would like my neighbor to feel some of your wrath. What do you, is this? Can you do this for, for me, spirits? The wrath on my neighbor to satisfy my, my jealous, jealousy. And talking about burning an oxen or anything, what happened to the old values that people used to have? Spirits, I and the sign. Will you, will you do anything for? A bitter old man. Tag out, Greg. Oh, look at all the stuff I have. So you, you call me? What do you want? You need to be kind to your neighbor. Oh, no, I just need stuff. I don't need to be kind to anybody. I just want stuff. Look, your cat doesn't have to have a good life, even if you know what I'm saying. No, I don't know what you're saying. Are you threatening my cat? What the hell? Paris, by the way, don't do anything to her cat. I just wanted to be clear about that. I love that cat. Now our hands are tied, Janine. My friend, what are you? Why is my neighbor here? What? Wait. Janine, are, are you? I'm praying. Are you praying too? Why are you here? What is that? I'm did you... at my house praying to. Oh, spirits. Janine, we got the lines crossed again. <clears throat> there, I'll get rid of it. Oh, there. There, there we sorry. go. Oh, sorry, I got rid of both of them. I... You know, that's, that's okay. I, it looked like they were going to work it out in their own way and let this be a lesson to them. Cats are ethereal creatures. You have to treat your neighbor like your cat. You would know you had like what 14 cats before you uh yeah yeah, yeah. I did. in fact some of the people in the neighborhood were saying that it was because of all the filth from all the cats that you died is that true i, I want names who said that um <laughs> sweet and now you're here on wheel of cheese how do you feel contestant number one um this is the proudest day of my life. My family is watching and I am just so excited to be here. What would you like to say to your family who's watching? I would like to say, I did really Gouda today. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> A cheese related pun will get you an extra hundred dollars. Good job. All right, you've moved on to the third round. And in the third round, you've got to do a cheese related uh, experiment, all right? So we have in front of you two types of cheese and several different chemicals. You're gonna take those chemicals and put them on the cheese and then eat them. We won't tell you what the chemicals are though. I'm ready. I was born for this. All right, go ahead. And now the audience is watching while you're doing this, and they can actually interfere with the, the procedure. All right, here's the first bite. I want it, I want it. Uh, 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 my cheese, my cheese. Now let's see what happened to the, the audience member who ate your cheese. <laughs> that oh. cheese was going to kill you. I'm so glad I did not eat that cheese. It's more important that you survive, correct? All right, next piece of cheese. Okay. Uh, 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 my cheese got swiped again. It did. And let's see what happens to that contestant. 
Oh, she melted. All right. So what's left now? <laughs> what's left now is 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 the remnants of the cheese, and we're not going to expect you to eat that because that would be piggy. So what you're going to do now is you're going to compose a short poem about cheese. Okay. Um, I once was lost, but now I'm Brie. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> We've passed on to the last round. And that round is to explain to all the people who've supported you why you don't want them to support you anymore. Okay, look, I am a mess. I am just a mess. I, I don't really like cheese. I don't really know a lot about cheese. Um, I've been pretending all these years and quite frankly, um, I don't care for any of you that much. Um, I've been tolerating you for years, so I'm sorry. That's All right, I'm sorry. You failed that challenge, so you're leaving without any money. And now your friends probably don't love you anymore. I'm sorry. Well. But will you sing us out with the cheese song? The cheese song. Life is better with cheddar. There you go. Excellent. And that is our show. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Give it up for Team One. Yay! Team One, Team One, Team One. Thank you, thank you Team One for this amazing set and thank you again Michael Olivier for underscoring uh, uh, all this all this gem tonight. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And now it's time to discover something here because I believe there are some persons here which have something on their house that makes them remember of intercity. Mm, maybe they have a mug, maybe they have a t-shirt or a sweater. Oh yeah, Brian, you, David, they have already a little piece of intercity at home. Oh, very well. So, so if you'd like also to, to bring home this little piece, uh, piece of intercity, you can just go here to the Etsy shop and you can you can get it and also this wonderful wonderful mask of which uh Danielle is showing us yes thank you thank you very much so you already know thank you uh, and and now oh my god we still have Josh with the beautiful mask um and now it's time to go directly into the first musical set of the evening yeah and so um i will call again david shapiro please introduce us to team two don't turn on your oh and just so you know brian will be timing you at first coming to the stage we have nelson from oklahoma city we have Josh Jenkins from Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. We have Angel, who you just saw, from Sabina, Spain. We have Pat Coparicio from Allentown, Michigan. And El Maher from Fremont, California. And a late minute entry, Don Sloven from New York, New York. There you go. Take it away. Hey everybody, we're team two, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, we're gonna be the, uh, the musical team for the night. And uh, let's see, we already had a, a cheese factory in London that might have been jeans factory and everything else, but hmm. What would be a fun shape uh, for a constellation that doesn't exist? A triangle. A heart. Triangle. A heart. A triangular heart. Triangular, triangular heart. heart. Thank you. Well, triangular heart. Triangular heart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh.
Do you see it up there? It's amazing. Do you see it? It's it it's it looks like a triangle, but it's got a heart traced around it. That is one of the most amazing constellations I've ever seen. I think it's that new alien life form that was made by Disney. Called? What's the name of it? The Huhats. The Huhats? Yeah. Oh my gosh. The Huhats. Huhats. Hats. I hear that. Did you hear that? Huh? Huhats. Huhats. Who got the Huhats? Huhats. 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 Do you see up there? It's the Huhats. Looks like a heart and a triangle too. It's, it's made by Disney and we're gonna be blue. Oh, how could Disney get way up there and do that constellation right there? We'll be seeing it for the rest of our lives. Who hot in the night? <laughs> Who hot in the night? Is it a triangle? No, it's a heart. No, it's a triangular heart. They say Walt Disney had a triangular heart. Oh my gosh. And that's where it came from, Mr. Walt Disney. He's the who heart that we see. All we have to do is believe in Walt Disney. Yes, believe in Walt Disney. I'm going to get my free tickets right now. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, don't be so who hot on me. Who Sweet. Oh, God, that's hot. What are you giving me a hot scalpel for? <laughs> oh, who, who? I gave you a hot? Uh-uh. I didn't give you no hot. Uh-uh. Fine, fine. Let's just get on with this surgery, okay? This guy's ticker is going to go any second. Man. All right. Scalpel. Scalpel. All right, here. Here's the triangle. Go put that on the on the triangle shelf over there. Let's triangulate it over here with the. Uh, put it on the, on the shelf. It's not going to be use useful right now. That's for sure. Now go get me the real heart. Now you got the okay. heart, right? Yeah, I got a car. Of course I do. Well, that's a good one. That's a nah. Oh. That looks tasty, doesn't it? Well, you know what? It looks... It looks like love. <laughs> My gosh, I... Now that I look into your eyes, <laughs> I realize I love you. Oh my gosh. Nurse Marcy, we're in the middle of an operation here. Oh, this is not a special love. <laughs> this heart belongs to us, not to this. Disney Nurse Marcy, character. where were you on Christmas with the when when the when the we had the office party? This is not the right time to bring this sort of thing up. I feel so ejected. Fine then. I'll put the heart in the Walt guy. No, don't put the heart in it. Just tell me what you
you want me to do? Can't you get things straight? First I say I love you, then you just say you don't want me. Just say it. You don't want me. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want you to destroy the heart. Don't destroy that heart. It took four hours and two planes, not to mention a helicopter, to get that heart. What have I done? What have I done? I just know I had a... A piece of passion just come over me. Oh dear. But you know, I know how to fix this. What? I happen to have an extra body part right over here. Okay. It's a lung. Okay. But if we put it in just the right way. You just have to shape it. Just shape it. it. Just shape it. Right. Just, you know, just kind of have to... You know, I just take off a couple of vessels and a couple of capillaries, and uh, there you go. Put that sucker in there. All right. Pick them all up. Let's dance. Yeah. We're dancing certain. Dancing certain. You know, dear heart, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not rejecting you, but I. I think that the patient is rejecting the lung. Oh! Oh, dear. All right, well, go get the forms. We're going to have to, we're going to have to fill out a, those risk management forms. Yeah, we're going to be, we got a long we're night ahead of us filling out forms. All right. I hate those forms. That is, unless I got a spleen. Yeah, but I got a spleen. spleen. He's got a spleen right here and it's really clean Ooh, just don't drop it okay speed. just don't drop the thing You know what? Forget it. Let's just throw it. Here, help me pick up the guy. Help me pick up the guy. We're going to throw him out the window, and we'll see that the body part ended up going out of his own body. Come on. Sweet. 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 <laughs> yes, he was so generous. Even if in that yeah. hard moment, he gave yeah. you the ticket. Right. I, I, I think I saw that episode of Who Hot too, and it was like that discreet <laughs> surgeon. And I was surprised that yeah. they would run that episode. Oh, it, it was terrible. He went in for a toothache and ended up out the window. But but he gave me these 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 tickets. I got three of them. Here's oh my god! For you too. Ooh. Would you like to go with me? Of course. Oh. Yo, you see, your ankle, your ankle, it's already connecting our family. <laughs> yes, he is. We, we must do something. We, we must do something for him. Like prepare a choreography when we arrive at Disneyland. Oh, ooh, you know, I've always liked zippity doo -da. Do you know that one? Ooh. zippity doo -da, zippity a My Lord, what a wonderful day. You know it? Yeah, but I mean, it's copyrighted though too, right? And I think like Disney is crazy strict about <sighs> that. So we just have to change a little bit. So it's just not not copyright. Okay. Yeah, we can do it. Can, can we can we customize it for, for my uncle? Uncle yeah. Zed. Zed. Yeah. He's our ankle too now. Yeah.
dip, dip, dippity boot box. Just a little bit off, right? You can change the lyrics just a little bit and then Disney will not sue us. We can park in lot A and then we won't have to ride the bus because Disney will sue and copyright their stuff and do it in their park. So just change the lyrics a little bit. I got it, I got it. I got one right here. Uncle Zed, he lost his spleen. He lost his heart and he didn't lose his mind. And now we're going to Disney and we're gonna have a fabulous time. Yeah! A fabulous time for us three Because Uncle Zed wasn't smashed by a tree He had a big heart A triangular heart Uncle Zed feel free To inspire Better there than this night You can hire Triangular heart We don't talk about that enough, right? Like, I mean, his heart was upside down It was like a triangle In his chest, but it still like Just pumped all the blood through his body Yeah And if you'll Upside down, you can make everybody have a crown with your love in your head, even Upside if you can just clean. Upside down. And go. We can all get matching shirts and wear them to Disneyland so we don't lose each other. That symbol. Yeah. Is, that, is that the reverse? Sweet, sweet. Man. How do we determine the difference between a triangle and a heart? I mean... I'm sorry, I was thinking. I, I, I Sometimes when I think, you can't even hear my thoughts well that's true but how do we how do we do this how do we get this triangular heart well you know when you when you take a triangle and you 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 turn it into a square then it, it's not a triangle anymore <laughs> but obviously duh. so so go from there how do we get to the heart of this matter that's right <laughs> oh, oh, so you're leaving it all up to me? That's what you always do. No, I'm not leaving it up to you. That's the answer. The answer is that just what you said. That's correct. I said it first. <clears throat> well, wait a minute. What did I say that you said first? That's right. That's right? That's right. That's and what you would say. Me, excuse me. I'm walking by here, and I hear you too. You're like overthinking this whole thing. You're going to have to hand over your brains. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hand me your brains. Come on. No. I need my brains. Well, then you got to get new ones. Let me let me just pop okay. this one. Oh, no, here. you're no, no. I saw your work. You're not braining me. Well, then, well, then go on, then go on. Don't overthink it. Just go go with your issues with the heart. OK, Could you, continue, OK, continue. OK, thanks. No, Thank okay, you. OK, so so you were saying I was just saying this is a matter of the heart. That's right. And we need the right angle, a triangle, to figure it out. If we figure it out. Ooh, get it, get it. We won't have anything else to talk about. And you never really talk to me. So can you just set this conversation free? Riddle me this. 
If you take the triangle and you turn it into a hexagon, <laughs> then it won't be the way that it would be if it were gone. Do you see what I mean? I see. So if we take that hexagon and we get rid of the hex, then it will be gone. It will be gone. And it'll lead into this amazing song. At least it will be, at least it will be not gone. Oh, there's we more? Can, we can carry it in our hearts. Our triangular heart. Yes. And it'll be fixed there it makes me want to look up into the air yes into the air well you see what i see it's, yes it's a woot hoot it's a woot hoot looking Ooh, down I... at us and we're looking at it who hot oh my gosh hot? you're hot. hot you're hot no, I'm yeah. hot. I'm yeah, hot. Yeah, probably not sweep, the best time to bring that up. Sweep, <laughs> sweep, sweep. Bring back Don. Bring back Don. Bring back Don. Okay, uh, it has come to our attention here at Disney that you uh, have copied uh, the Who Hot Me Heart, and you're trying to uh, alter it for your own profit. Um, sir, that is not allowed here at the Who Hot Me Hospital. Speak up for yourself. See, see again, is, is my, my thoughts. They, they you, you, you can't hear my thoughts sometimes. Yes, yes, I, I yeah, actually so, can. We're, we're Disney. We know everything. Well, I, I understand that. But uh, um, so, so you see, it, it would be very charitable of you, uh, uh, Mr. Disney, to allow us to use all of your cartoon characters' hearts so we can save many of the other cartoon characters that don't have hearts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Excuse if me. you can come up with a good song for it uh, that you'll let us copyright, we'll do it. Our My it, manager, Nelson, is going to help you out. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Quit being so goofy. Um. Okay. Oh, yes. was it? That's a good one. Goofy is a character. Okay, so. what do you what do you got? What do you got for the song? You got the. Give it to me, Don. Song. Give it to me, Don. Who me? I thought yes. you were gonna. Okay. How about Why this guy who just appeared with with a, with a piano? What's this over there? What what the heck? Don, What's going just on of it? sing the song. Come on, quit being okay. so goofy. Okay. All right. What is a hot without? A heart. Oh, like that. What is it not if it doesn't have a heart? A heart. It has to have a place to start, and I suggest it is the. That little spark, and it will start. It's really not that hard, is it? Go ahead, Mr. Disney. Give us a second part to this wonderful song. Sure. Well, I think you two have come up with a plan. I think you two are probably the man. I'm gonna grant you 
all that you wish, and I'm not gonna pay you in fish. Happy New Year. Yeah, I've heard that about this, Easy. Hey, yeah, I'm on my phone here. Fish. I have come from out no. of space. I I come from the who hots to uh, say it's not hooked up right now. Uh, you're Disney not hooked up actually right now. copied you know us. Yes. Oh, we're getting some the space hoo-hots. interference too. Yeah, yeah like the go. space right. interference. Radio Free Europe or something. I don't know. Yeah. And that is yeah. that's my captain. He uh he he just does not seem Hello? to be putting his communications on mute right now. But I what getting a call on my improv phone. Okay. Yes. Just let him know. Be quiet. How but... hot can we be? And that's the sea. <laughs> that's the sea. <laughs> the sea. It's all sea. Good <laughs> job, everybody. Fuck. Not of me. Feel free also if you if you enjoyed his music. Also, you can uh, give him a tip uh, on his Venmo, for instance, uh, because uh, he has been uh, supporting okay. us for um, um, okay. yeah for, for so much so, so right. uh, many so nights. I think oh I, I realize we have someone here who doesn't know that he's yeah, somebody named Ro- somebody named Robert. It looks like. He's yes, mute. yes, yes. I just muted him. Ah, thank He's you, thank now. you very much. Yeah, thank you. We have here a wonderful uh, volunteer team, uh, and so that's great. Um, helping us give it up for our volunteers. Yay! 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 You can turn turn on your cameras. Woo! This great Woo! volunteer Woo! team. Oh. Yeah, the cat, oh, love the cat too. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Whoa, um, thank you, um, thank you, and Angela. Uh, if you, yeah, you can turn now your your camera off if you'd like. Then for us to continue, thank you very much, Angela. I'm also Angela. My name is Angel. <laughs> uh, and now, now, uh, before we um, discover our third team of the evening, we have to discover the menu. The menu. The menu. Because here at Intercity, we have a lot of different experiences for you. And so I will share share again my screen with you. And let's discover this wonderful menu, uh, which in French will be la carte. Let's discover la carte. Dun, 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 dun. Where is the menu? Because we are all hungry. Menu, menu. Oh, it is here. Okay. I hope you are all seeing now here the intercity menu. And so, so um, for the ones who are new here, uh, so we have this um, this amazing long form improv jam, the intercity long form improv jam every Sunday. Uh, so every Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific time or at 9 p.m. Eastern time, or also you can uh, see it in different time zones because there are uh, people from different countries here. For instance, I'm um, in Spain. Uh, it's now 4 a.m. in the but intercity. It's something so good that here nobody sleeps because we prefer intercity yeah so uh, that said oh my god next week uh, we will have 
Cousins. Give it up for Cousins, who will be here headlining, will be the headlining team uh, for next yeah. Sunday. Yes, amazing. Alex Hello. Taylor and David Hepburn will be here. Uh, and because, you know, uh, here on the jam, we have also, we have always uh, these sets, the musical, non-musical, where everybody can participate. And we have always the um, headlining team. Tonight we'll have sensitive people. Oh, yes. And next week, cousins. And then the the week of, uh, after, we will have Krat, Krat, Christian and Kate. Yes, directly from Austin and London. Yeah. And, uh, my God, there are a lot of surprises here. And after that, we'll have also Burnett Brigade. Uh, yeah, all woman trio. Burnett Brigade, Charlotte, from Queen City Improve. Oh my God, we have here a lot of different experiences in Intercity Uniform Improv Jam. And also, oh my God, we'll have uh, the 10th October formal bonfire, which is hosting from Westside Improve, from Wheaton. Yeah! Amazing, amazing. And oh my God, I recognize this person. It's Michael Olivier, the musical director for tonight. Yeah, um, he is doing a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job. Thank you so much, Michael Olivier, for supporting us. And uh, so if you would like to, to tip him, uh, you can um, or send a message to Intercity. Uh, or we we should put also he, the information in the chat about his Venmo information uh, to thanks him to give him also some love uh, because um, of um, his work here in the gym. Okay, thank you, Michael. Uh, as you already know, we have Etsy shop shop with a lot of different items and. Yes, we are accepting submissions. So you, if you are part of an improv team, if you do video sketches, if you are a musical director, for instance, or if you just would like to to share um, these uh, these opportunity to other people who'd like to to jam, who like to jam, so uh, please feel free to contact us. Uh, you can be part of one of the uh, headlining teams, headliners teams for uh, other week. Um, you, you can share your video sketches, or you can be the musical director, uh, or just jam and have fun as we all uh, do. And uh, oh my God, we have different pages. Yes, so we have uh, our Facebook, the Intercity Improved Community. We have the Intercity page and also the the group so uh, there you can uh, you can discover all the upcoming events you can also share with us if you have if you are living in workshop um, classes so you can put all this info on our, on our groups and uh, bon appetit bon appetit because after all these things we are not hungry anymore yeah, and now, and now it's the moment to discover our third team of the evening, which will be the second non-musical team. And there is Lara. Thank you, Lara. Thanks, Angel. All right, team three, turn on your cameras. We have David Shapiro from Chicago, Illinois. We have Angela from Milwaukee. We have Tanya from Santa Cruz. We have Bridget from Oaxaca, Mexico. Brian Sebi from Wheaton, Illinois. We have Catherine from Michigan. And we have Joshua Previn from an undisclosed location. The 18th three. Great things come in thirds. We're the third team. What is the third best thing in your life? Oh, chicken burritos. Oh, chicken burritos. Thank you. Best thing in best thing in someone's life. Chicken burritos. Thank you. Do you love it? I was working on it all night for you. No, Casey, it's awesome. Thank you so much. 
You're welcome. I, I just, um, I'm just starting this new food truck business and, and, you know, you're, you're my favorite sibling and, you know, I, I care about your opinion the most. Aw. <laughs> yeah, dude, when dad said that he was going to give me that loan money for the food truck business, I thought he was kidding. Wait, he, he, he gave you money? Yeah, he gave all of us money. Oh. Well, that's news to me. Oh. Um, he didn't tell you? No. Oh. Um, your burrito's really good. <laughs> Dad didn't tell me what? Um, well, he... I gotta put this down. Well, he, you know... When he loaned it, when he loaned us the money, he didn't want just you to ha to open your own business. Um, he actually wanted to be the one who opened the business. Oh, yeah. Wow, that sounds just like Dad. You know, not trusting his daughter to. I know. Be an accomplished person on her own, independent. Yeah. No, it's absolutely ridiculous. You've proven throughout the years that you can do this. I mean, forgot you. your burrito was absolutely delicious. Thank you. I have been cooking for years. I went to business school. I uh -huh. went to culinary school. I, I am the most prepared for this. Yeah, no, I remember. Oh my God, when we were little kids and you were learning how to wrap a burrito. Oh my oh. goodness, you were so good at it naturally. Thank Excuse you. Excuse me, is my burrito ready? I've been... Oh, here for oh yes, I'm so minutes. sorry. Yes, yes. Um, you had the I'm number four, the right? Uh, no, I had a number three. Oh, okay. But I wanted my three, uh, like a three and a half. So I'd like the right. four elements of the four and then part of the three, if you could do that. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'll just uh, cut off this part of the burrito. Oh, great. That's great. Hey, I bet your dad would be proud. Sorry. Thank you so much, sir. Here you go. Just keep the change. I don't know why you're keeping uh, the change. Yeah, I don't want to keep the change because during, you know, the virus, there's a lot of viruses on change. So I'd rather just you keep that. That's, That's just okay. fine. I'll, I'll Tag out it. everybody except for Catherine. Catherine, as your accountant, I got to talk to you about your, um, your business model. Um, most people have like a take a penny, leave a penny, but you're asking, you're telling people they could keep their own change. I know. I, listen, it's, it's been a rough, rough week. Oh, okay. What? I mean, I just have this receipt. It, it was, it was, it was a $5. He, he gave, he gave you 20. Are you, you, he gave you 20 and you told him to keep the change and he kept the entire 20. I, I don't get it. Yeah, I just, you caught me. He, I was uh, in a very emotional state and okay. um, it wasn't you really. The concept that you're, you're giving away your food and your product, your services for, for money. Yes, I, yes, I understand. Yes, I, I, okay. I provide burritos. And they give me the money, yes. Yes. And have you figured out that you need to keep your food expenses and your other expenses un uh, under the amount that you're selling it for? That uh, I don't want to profit? interrupt your conversation, excuse me, but I am once again waiting for my burrito Jeez. endlessly. Are I'm you so guys sorry, almost done sir. talking? It's okay. Um, excuse me? Uh... Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna let you talk Catherine, to your customer. I'll be back. Catherine, do you do you remember me at all? Do you remember me? I yes, I do. I I I I have to tell you. I was spending my last four dollars on a on a chicken burrito. <laughs> and um I I you you told me to keep the change. And 
You actually gave me a 20 um, back and that turned my, but that, that was, that was the catalyst. It was, it was psychological. It, it really turned my life around. Um, I don't know if that means anything to you. That means so much to me. In fact, I'm feeling an emotional moment and I have to express it in the most normal way for most people to express themselves. Oh, that, 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 thank you. See, I uh, told Go on, Catherine, sorry, I'll just eat my burrito. I'm so glad I helped you. I'm so glad me failing at business has made your life turn around, turn around. It's all uphill from here. I'm going to serve everyone my chicken burritos for free. I'm gonna you know give what? you funny oh. with the chicken burrito. It's not about making money, but making people inspired, inspired to. You're Bye. still gonna run out of money in about one month, I just need to tell you, but your song is beautiful and I'm inspired by it. <coughs> Sweep oh, everyone sure. but uh, <laughs> David. Oh. So, David, it seems like you have enough evidence now mm -hmm. uh, to prove that she is not competent to run that business. No, not at all, not at all. And I'm, I mean, I'm sort of, I'm really, being unethical by talking to you about this even. I mean, don't worry about that. Don't worry I mean, you're, about you're that. You're a competitor down the street and I'm no, but don't, just, get, don't just yeah, telling but, you all the, all the details. <laughs> yeah, but who cares? Don't, yeah. let's move on to the real story about okay, yeah. about um, a takeover and just okay. like, let's make it a, as least messy as possible. All right, you know all right, I mean? all right. So, uh, so yeah. no murder. Not this time. No murder this time. No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Blackmail? That's, that's funny. That's very funny. Yeah. Black, blackmail? No, no murder this time. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's okay, go with okay. that. But everything yeah. else is on the table? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, do you think we can just let her fail or... Well, you know, I'm great friends with her dad. So really? I think her dad and I are just going to speed up this process Wait as a minute. much as possible. She said that her husband, her father was dead. Does she not know the truth? Is it well, possible that her father is alive? And I mean, she's talking about all this money that she got from her father's death. <gasps> Yeah, he he was so sick of his family, honestly. He just wanted to get out of there and, and have some kind of a life. Yes, I'm still alive. What's it oh to you? God. Oh, hey, man. Good to see you. This is just an accounting nightmare. I mean, I filled out all the fiduciary paperwork for the closing of your trust. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. All part of the plan. Step one, fake my own death. Step two, have my daughter set up in a business that she can't necessarily run responsibly. Two. And step three, profit. Three. Are there any? Are there any more steps? Like a fourth and fifth? A fourth step. Then I open up a new trust fund under my own name. And then five, we do some kind of things with NFTs, and I, I really just want your investment on that part. Five, those were five things. Yes. Wow. Highly, five uh, things. highly, highly unethical, but just a drop in the water on top of everything I've already done. Sweep. Loud food. 
I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, please. Uh, if, uh, I, no offense, but if you are going to throw up, please let me know because I have a really strong reaction to that. So <laughs> I know you're about to give birth and I don't want to be an insensitive doctor, but you know, I'd really appreciate it if you could shut up and deliver the baby. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, it came out. That, that was, was easy. That yeah. was it? Look. Yeah. Look. Look, it looks, it looks exactly <gasps> like a miniature Tom Cruise. <gasps> My favorite actor. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah. And he's a Scientologist. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, doctor, thank I, you so much. <laughs> oh. me, let it be reflected in the Yelp review, if you, if, if you don't oh. mind. I mean, you. Um, of yeah, course. I also sell insurance. Uh, renters or homeowners or. Uh, no, no, I th I think my baby good? and I are. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're just going to go home and get to know each other. And... Oh, that's great. That's you know. just fantastic. Yeah. <sighs> All that kind of stuff. Yeah. But thank you. Thank you. So, like, I. Check out Joshua. I appreciate it. Honey, oh, you brought the baby home. Oh, oh, but the baby already has a scratch on it. What? Like, right there, right at the right at the right there. It's a scratch. You just got to. We just got to. Did you? Did you get there? Did you get the insurance? Did the uh, OBGYN offer you the insurance? You didn't. Oh, I, come on. Jeez, um, I mean, the baby loses 20% in it, just taking it out of the hospital. Come on, honey. Uh, I thought he was kidding. No, I, it's. I, maybe we could. Let me see it. I mean, it's fun. Let me see the fontanelle. The fontanelle hasn't closed up, so at the top, so maybe we could, could we paint over it. Do you think? I mean, I, I, I love him just how he is. You know, yeah, we gotta know, accept but... our kids how they are. Yeah, but you know, I love the the curve. You know, just. The baby looked so new and fresh, and now it's not new and fresh anymore. It's got a big scratch on it. My God, come on. There's no such thing as a new, fresh baby. Uh, hun, there's someone at the door. Could you get that? Yeah, hi. Oh, hey, come on in. <laughs> oh, it's so great to see you kids <laughs> with your own kids. Ah. <laughs> I, I knitted you. Um, I, I knew you were going to have a baby. I didn't know it was going to be quite so Tom Cruise-y. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's still, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a little scratch on, 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 yeah. on him, yeah. but oh, it's, we're, we're, we're going to get that taken care of. Well, yeah, so this is a fairly, a pretty big hat. Oh, um, good. Oh, so here. Just, oh, no, I'll cover that up well. It, the font nail will be protected, mm -hmm. and it could also be kind of an aesthetic thing, like, mm -hmm. you know, just pull it out, you know, what, whatever you want to do. This is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wow. you, you can cover the whole the whole baby if you need to, uh, at least until it grows out of, you know. The, mm -hmm. <laughs> so big. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at me. <laughs> so yeah, big. You, you, you. I, I worked really hard on that. Superman. <laughs> hey, hey, just Please. just between you and I. Please. So I've got new investment idea. Betting on babies. Will they be cute? Who knows? But anything can make money. You make a little baby, you make them into an NFT. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, I think we really need to make sure that we get the networks involved in this because that's where all that money is going to come in. So our biggest competitor right now in terms of cuteness is Teletubbies. So we got to knock those guys out of the water. Any ideas? I think Catherine had some ideas in that front. Oh, go ahead. Um, 
PHP employee knew what seeking. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> She's okay. one of the babies that we've invested in. Yeah. Have you thought about babies crawling towards puppies? Oh my God. Babies crawling oh, towards puppies. Why didn't we think of it? That's so cute. You know, I think it's time for me to hang up the CEO hat. Oh, give it to our next generation. All right, let's let's sweep and cut to a bunch of uh, prison prisoners in prison watching the puppies crawling towards babies. I love this show so much. God, I love these babies and these puppies. Yeah, it's pretty good. What do you mean just pretty good? I'm gonna stab somebody. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said it's pretty good. Yeah. I said what I meant. I like the episode with the poodles. Hug, hug somebody. Give we them an can We pretty can't hug. I feel so manipulated right now. Feel. But I'm feel still gonna remorse. cry. Feeling remorse for what I've done. Me too. Oh man, I you shouldn't have stolen. Have I shouldn't have stolen that giant crate of Pepsi from the church. I shouldn't have shaved you last week when you didn't pay me back. I'm sorry. Now I'm cold. Sweet. I'm so sorry, even though I said sweat. I'm still sorry. I'm uh, sorry I'm late. I um was just playing b ball with my friends down the street. Um, okay, I'm ready to listen now. Okay, well that's good. That's good. I'm glad that you're here. Um, welcome to your first geometry lesson for uh, toddlers. It's going to be a bit difficult. Um, however, your parents invested a lot of money into this to make sure that you do well in your SATs, as well as get into one of the, I believe, six or seven IV leagues. Um, do you have any That's questions? Correct. And this is my colleague here. Okay, my biggest question. I know I've memorized the entire dictionary. Yes, which is that's what, summer reading. Yes. My question is: Is what shape goes in what slot? Because I've been working on this forever, and I cannot figure it out. Yeah, it's a very hard one. I can't figure yeah. it out myself. It's it's it took me some time to be honest. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. But you're on the right deep. track. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to put shapes inside this container. It's really easy if you do the shape song. The shape song. The shape song. Okay, but don't tell any of my boys that I've been doing the shape song, trying to keep my street cred. You know. You take the round shape, and it goes in the round hole. Okay. Hey, that shit. Shit, that was right. That's great. Okay, let's keep going. Then you take your shape. Put it in the spot. Make sure you've got it right. Don't worry, it's looking hot. Make sure you've got the shape. It's gonna be just great. You will get this, I swear. Welcome to Ivy Leagues. Now go ahead and take the triangle and put it in here. Now we go in the Ivy Leagues. You'll know that you've got to cheat. And uh, the round one will go in the square as well. And the triangle will too. And that's how you win in the Ivy League. That's how I win in the Ivy League. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm learning. How to put the shapes in the right places. Now and take is... the dollar sign and put it in the dollar holder. Teacher, this glue tastes funny. 
Oh. Sweetie, you're not supposed to swallow glue. Right now we're working on some shapes that is in the room next door. Can you please shut your face? Now back to the shapes. Oh, perfect. Shut your face. And now it is done. We somehow got into a musical set. I love it. Ooh, give it a 14 3. Yeah. <laughs> and now. We are going into the promotion section. Yeah. And thank you, Michael Olivi, again for this wonderful music. Oh my God. It's time for promotion. So if you have an upcoming class, workshop, an upcoming show, just share it with us and with all the world who is watching us here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god! Yeah, it's Brian. Brian, what do you have for us? So for anyone who happens to be in the Chicago area, which is pretty much David, um, theoretically, our my, my home theater will be reopening on September 25th, crossing our fingers that the, all the permits and things go through and it's not like horrifically bad now but keep an eye on Westside Improv and, and we will hopefully be reopening for live and yeah thank you Brian we all hope it will be a reality very soon and um, so if you have something a class a show uh, a workshop just tell us oh there is done done Hey guys, let's crash the Vintage Improv Festival. I'm doing the jam at 12 midnight. I know! Come on, let's do that after this. Just come on over. I'll put the numbers in the chat. If anybody's Thank really you. serious about it, contact me because it's gonna be Nobody there because it's midnight. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Don and Don. Sorry, and as Don said, you can also share this information on the chat, and you you already know our Facebook page and also our Facebook community page. You can share also all these events. So, uh, who else has something to share with us? Oh, oh! So I will share with us. For instance, uh, I'm part of an um, improv group, online group called the Improfessionals. And every Monday, every Monday at uh, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time, we have uh, an online show for 30 minutes on the Facebook page Socially Distant Improv. So if you'd like to watch, we will be very, very happy. Uh, and now the final minutes. Uh, those. Anybody else wants to share something with us? No? Mm. Oh, I think that so it's time for us to know the headlining team of this evening. Please, a drum roll for, to sensitive people from Reno, Nevada! Yes, sensitive people! Come on! Ooh. And the floor is yours, sensitive people! Thank you so much, Angel! Thank you so much! Hi, my name is Katie and we are sensitive people from Reno, Nevada. Um, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're super excited. And um, we are doing a form tonight uh, called The Living Room. 
And basically what happens is that uh, we will throw out a suggestion and ask uh, you guys in a second and I'll, I'll give you the prompt. Um, and we'll talk about that suggestion just as regular people. <laughs> and then that will uh, inspire us for our scenes. And then we'll have three scenes and then we'll have another living room and then three more scenes. So um, let's get started with the suggestion. I would love it if you guys could help us out what is something that makes you really nervous? Mm. It's something clowns. that makes you really nervous. Clowns. A trip to the dentist. Clowns. Heights. Heights. A trip to the dentist. Let's do any, any others before I... Okay. Sharing your report card. Sharing your report card. An exam. Okay. An exam, a test. Okay. Oh, good suggestions. All these good. Are, all good. Yeah, these are all oh, good. Great. Okay. We love them. All right. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead. I think the one that struck a nerve, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, was going to the dentist. So let's go with that one. <laughs> all right. right let's on. get it started. Going to the dentist. I remember I, I had braces when I was a kid, and uh, the doctor's name was Dr. Battistini. And uh, well, some some people here have heard this story actually. And uh, we he said, "Wear your retainer." And I said, "All right, I'll wear it." And I went in, and he said, "You're not wearing the retainer." And then the next time I went in, which was like I don't know, two weeks later, he goes, "You're not wearing the retainer." And he picked me up. I was like eleven. Picked me up out of the seat. This is a long time. Ago, and started shaking me. And the nurse, I just remember looking at the nurses, and she's like. Oh my God, it's gonna kill. And I was just thinking like, wow, you probably couldn't get away with that now these days. Better, better <laughs> wear your retainer. <laughs> um, when, I, when I was a kid, I, I had, um, my dad just like bought a lot of candy and, and I ended up with a lot of bad, you know, cavities out of that deal. And um, I went to a dentist uh, that was near our, 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 our house, um, Dr. V and he was really, really good. And he said, you got really bad teeth. Uh, your dad must be, must really like you <laughs> to bring you all that candy, <laughs> but he should, should have brought you a toothbrush. <laughs> Anyways, I, I, that is one thing I do remember. Uh, other than that, yeah, I had a lot of feelings. <laughs> uh, I remember, oh, go ahead. I remember, uh, well, <laughs> I had my wisdom teeth out and I was only supposed to get two out that were impacted. And uh, I was in college at the time and uh, the dentist actually just lived literally walking distance down the block. So um, I went in there and uh, these are the days, which I don't know if they still use it, but I got laughing gas. And um, my dentist turned out to be a total comedian. And uh, <laughs> he was like cracking jokes and, you know, there was like, blood coming out and I was just laughing and having a great time and and then he was like hey you want to get the other two out and I was like of course I do I'm having such a great time <laughs> so I got the other two out and uh, he gave me some instructions about you know taking my pain pills and taking you know ibuprofen and I was like great uh, and I got home and I took Tylenol and instead of ibuprofen and it was not it was not funny anymore after that, <laughs> but I made it. I survived. I still have my wisdom teeth. Uh, wow. I have to get them out. They're not in trouble, uh, but my dentist has his eye on them and wants them out. Um, and the reason I have them is because when I transitioned to the adult dentist, the adult dentist was this really sweet man, big man, Dr. Smishina who used to be a professional fighter. So he had these huge mitts for hands. Um, and I would always ask him, do I have to have my wisdom teeth out? Do I have to have my wisdom teeth out? And I loved it because he, he'd take one of his mitts and he'd just go, not now, you have a really big mandible. Wow. <laughs> so now I still have a big mandible. <laughs> um, every time I go to the dentist, they, um, they ask me if I wanna fix my little tooth. And um, I didn't have a complex about my little tooth until it was pointed out to me by my dentist. Actually, I still don't, I'm fine with it. But um, I just think it's funny, like, oh, I didn't even realize that I had this 
ugly little tooth until you know <laughs> the dentist let me know <laughs> a dirty little how, secret <laughs> how are they gonna fix it how are they gonna fix it <laughs> dentist dentist dentist, dentist. dentist. Little Tooth! Hey, Little Tooth! Little Tooth! That's not nice. I'm... I was used... I, I don't know. I should, Henry! But Little Tooth. It's Henry! You know that I don't like it when you draw attention to my teeth. I'm oh. very self-conscious about them. Teeth are and very important. How would you ever bite into something that's got substance? Well, that is very metaphorical of you to say. And that is why I like to start our session on that very note. What, you know, I know you've been having problem with substance in terms of finding meaning in your life. And I would like to help you with that. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I've been, I've been, sucking on clothespins. Um, okay. I like, okay. I like the varnish. I like the varnish. It's tasty. And, um, and tell me, how does that make you feel? When you're sucking on the clothespins, do you feel something deeper? Like I do. A, a feeling of some sort? I feel like I'm hanging out. I feel like I'm not going anywhere. I'm just like hanging. I know. It's just like, like the clothespins. That's so deep. That's so deep. You know? And um and, and tell me, what are some of the other habits that you have? Sometimes I put a pair of pliers in my mouth because I just can't come to grips with stuff. Oh, oh Henry, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. What else? I mean, what about other some other tools in the garage? that you find that you are gravitate towards? Well, occasionally I'll put um, a Black & Decker drill, you know, one of those mini ones in my mouth, and I'll just go in the inside of my mouth and just kind of like clean things out if I had any ulcers or, you know, an abscess, something like that. And yeah. it kind of yeah. just makes me feel, you know, like like my, my yeah, soul is clean. Pure. Yeah. Oh, Henry, this is really good stuff. I have a breakthrough here. I'm what? so proud of you. And, and, and the next time that, that I take some pliers or a drill, or I'm going to think of you, and I'm going to know that you're okay. Little Tooth, that means a lot coming from you. A lot. I crunched the numbers and we're not going to be able to do it this week. It's, it's, I don't know how we're going to afford the mortgage. Have we also stopped buying sugar? Yeah, that's right. Just, just drink it black, Joe. Come on. You know, I have sacrificed a lot, a lot for this family. I, I'm not giving up sugar. I'm not giving it up. This is. Well, you can't have stevia anymore, honestly. Uh, no, you're right. You're right. I was starting to get mad because, you know, I, I don't want to lose a house, but you have given up a lot. And what is a house anyway? Really? Right? Right? Uh, I know I'm so committed to the numbers. Always it's about the numbers, right? And it's not, it's about, it's about us. It's about sugar. It's about, it's about me getting charged up and ready to face the day. One more day, just another day. I need sugar. What, what, what do you mean just another day? I mean, don't we have, it's not the sugar that keeps us going, is it, Joe? It's the thing, the one thing that makes my life tolerable. 
The one thing. The one, one thing. The one creature comfort I need. But if I get you sugar, you're okay with me. You haven't been flossing, little buck. I. It sounds like the neighbors are arguing again. Did you hear that? I did. I did. You know, honestly. Give it a goddamn sugar. I'm trying to sleep. You don't understand. They don't understand. I'm going to get you your sugar. I feel like they're siding with me. They're siding with me. This is undrinkable. This is this is outrageous. Put it down, honey. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see the way you look when you try to gulp that horrific, vile stuff down. Give her the sugar already! Give her the sugar! Don't you think I'd give her the sugar if I had any in the house? I don't! I hate seeing her look like this! It kills me! Wherever you are! Trina, is that you? I didn't have sugar in the house! It's someone, somewhere! This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is the worst neighborhood I've ever lived in. You know I'm, what? It's all right. When you're right, you're right. I I don't know why I'm clinging to this place. We need to get out of here. You know what? In Mexico, they grow the sugar. We could have fresh sugar on the cane. There's a flight tonight. Take it to Mexico City. Get the heck up! I will. I will. You still haven't unpacked your suitcase. No, I have not. I have not unpacked it yet. I, uh, I don't know why. Ah. We're coming up on eight months. There's something about this house. There's something that's missing in, the, in this house. You know? Yeah? Yeah, what's missing is... Uh, it just doesn't feel like a place I want to live anymore. It doesn't feel like the place that I... I tried, Agnes. I tried to make this a home. I mean, I set up my chair. I I got the Norman Rockwell picture right above it. <laughs> it it still doesn't feel like a home. My heart is breaking. <sighs> you know, when we moved here, I thought it would work out. I tried. I said, we can, it'd be great. The whole front part, I can make that into my office, <laughs> you know, you know, but when I bring people in, they, they don't feel that I'm very professional. You know, they're, they I feel too cozy. I, I, I said, get rid of the beanbag chair. I don't, I don't think it's just the beanbag bag chair. It's the house. When the kids come in for their dentist appointment, they just don't have the fear they have in a regular office. You know, they they start feeling relaxed and safe and and I can't work like that. I cannot work like that with kids. They are supposed to fear me. You know? They, they look over there and they see the duck wallpaper and they start giggling. And I can't have that. <laughs> I cannot have that. Oh. You know, and you bringing cookies, cookies. I mean, they know it's a home. They know I live. They know where I live. That's true. So I bet those kids are going to talk about getting cookies at the dentist for the rest of their lives. They talk about coming back. 
they say, Mr. Gumala, look at my teeth. I have hardly any cavity. And I go, no, no, you're supposed to run when you see me. I got those straps to hold you down. <laughs> <You're not sorry. laughs> I wish you could give it one more chance. For you, I'll give it another chance. <laughs> Oh man, I, I never really, um, I don't remember. I think I did get a lollipop or two from the dentist, but you know, I, I feel like I, I should have gotten more. Um, and I know when it comes to candy, um, when I was a kid, I did go a little crazy. I was one of those kids at Halloween that just had to have a full pillowcase of candy so that I could eat it for months and months and 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 my mom would be like all right I think that candy is old and I'm like no all that's left is the Tootsie Rolls and and I'm going to eat those gosh darn it <laughs> I love I love Halloween it's um uh, the di- my birthday is the day before Halloween and I always like everyone's dressed in costumes this is like for me you know <laughs> um and, and I did go trick or treating with a pillow sack and all that, and um, it was fun. And you're right, Tootsie Rolls were kind of like the downer thing, but I actually really like Tootsie Rolls, so it was a good thing for me. But um, yeah, I still would dress up in a costume and go trick or treating if I could. But six feet tall, they don't really like that if you show up at their door with a bag. <laughs> night before uh, Halloween is mischief night on a lot of places. And we used to, by the way, my brother has the same birthday as you. I didn't know that, Casey. And uh, we used to go out with soap. It was innocent. And we would, innocent stuff. We would write on car windows, write different stuff. (laughs) And um, we wrote, um, Mary Nichols has a large uh, fanny. And when we were writing it, uh, they took pictures. It's a long time ago, Polaroids of us doing it. And uh, we got uh, uh, beatings. That's when they, oh. when they, that was when they were beatings. Uh, just hmm. thought of that lovely little story. Hopefully. I was Yikes. afraid uh, on Halloween because a lot of times it would snow uh, and we'd have to wear coats over our uh, uh, costumes. And that was the worst. Um, I didn't mind being cold. I'd rather be cold in a costume than have to wear a coat over a costume. That was a drag. Mm, yeah. when, I, when I was an adult and taking my daughter around, um, there's a very nice old lady that lives across the street. Um, and she wouldn't stay up to give out candy, but she put the treats out in a container. And we went over once and there was a really lovely cookie that was frosted and you know, wrapped up in plastic and we're like, score, you know, we got the cookie. Um, And we took it back and my daughter took a bite and it was for the dogs. It was a dog cookie. Oh! (laughs) Ready. One year, um, a friend of mine and I uh, dressed up as dice, a pair of dice, Um, but she made plans to go trick-or-treating without me. Um, but we ended up trick or treating in the same neighborhood. Um, so I went, when I'd end up at a house, they'd be like, uh, you were already here. And I was like, no, no, that was my friend. We were a pair of dice. And uh, that I'm sure is, is very sad. You were, you were in fact a die. <laughs> a lone die. <laughs> All right, Halloween. 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 Oh. Hey. I- Great. The place is great. You know, I'm really enjoying staying at your cabin um, for the uh, for the uh, for the weekend. I really needed to get away. Uh, that that is very good. Yeah, uh, I'm very glad that you really enjoy this place so much. Uh, I really want you to to be comfortable. We you know we have a turn down service also. You know. Oh, great. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Hey. Um, all you Let need me, to do is dial the zero and what? and 
and someone, <laughs> someone or something will come in, turn down the, 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 the bed sheets of your bed. Let, let me get my uh, phone and I can uh, get that ready for like the morning. That'd be great. That's great. We also have a wake up call too. Just dial zero and something yeah. will come. Yeah, wow. You yeah, it's really a neat place. It, it's just really neat, you know? <laughs> and, um, you know, it's creeks. There's a little sounds here and there, but you know, I love it. Live in the uh -huh. city all the time. You know, you get a little bored of oh. just regular city sounds. Oh yes, boredom. <laughs> we 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 have a lot of that around here, boredom. But don't worry, you will sleep like a baby. Yeah, that's what I've been wanting to sleep like a, a little baby. Hey, um, you know, the children of the night. They call me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, listen. That's to great. That <sighs> sounds like nature calling. Um, 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 hey, uh, you know we have a continental breakfast in the morning, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, I was using. <laughs> let me. Let me. Uh, I, I have something on the hot plate. Like, mm. uh, let me. Let me get that off <laughs> so we can still talk. Uh, yes. Yes, I love turning this place into a B and B. <laughs> yeah, it's just amazing, you know. I, I hear things around the house. I'm like, eh, little mice, big deal, you know. Mm, they're not they're, they're... mice. <laughs> they're not mice. <laughs> <laughs> they are the souls of those who have died in that room. <laughs> oh, People die they, in this room? Oh, all the time. Be... Oh. All the time. And soon, <laughs> you will join them. Of course, once your, once, the, once your credit card has cleared, you will join them. All right, ladies. Where to? Um, uh, uh, Carolyn, can you can you tell the driver I gotta I gotta take this call. Um, I like would just love a tour of the city. All right, historic or uh, postmodern? Um, historic sounds boring, so let's just do the the modern one. All right. No, no, that's not gonna, it's not, that's not gonna work out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what, this is, I'm with my, I'm with my niece right now. So this call is gonna have to wait. All right, okay. Uh, my people will call your people. Okay. Sorry about that, darling. I'm <laughs> so sorry. I, you are my main focus here today. Um, where are we going? Hold on, today? everybody, hold on, sharp turn. Oh! That's straight, straight ahead. Jesus. Um, Listen, I don't know if you know who I am. I'm a very important person, and this driving is unacceptable. Mr. What is your name? Ferguson McKenzie II. Ferguson McKenzie II, and I will need your driver's license number, please. 4257718. Hang on, I'm just going to record that in my phone. <clears throat> okay, sweetie, where are we going? We're just going to like drive around for a little while and we're going to look at newer buildings. Not oh, like yeah. About over no. on the left. None of those that's old the, buildings. Uh, Ew. Over on the left, that's the dental factory. They make all kinds of dentures and different types of uh, biting things uh, for your, you know, eating pleasure. Ew, that's gross. Ew, that yeah. is gross. Listen, um, I'm gonna need the name of your firstborn child because I'm a very important person and this is this tour is unacceptable. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, I haven't seen anything modern yet. Cornelius, uh, he's 
This is ridiculous. Weird kid. He's got problems. He's yeah. Uh, I sent him to school, and he he always he doesn't go. He goes outside and um, kind of gambles. Does a lot of things like that. He's he's a bad kid. Okay, so listen. I'm gonna need your. Uh, it's making me very sad. I don't want to hear sharp shots. right turn. Yeah, okay, so this is not cool. You're making Carolyn sad. We're doing sharp turns. Um, you know, I'm gonna need your social security number because I'm a very important person. And um, this is unacceptable. I don't like your boring stories that make my niece cry. This is terrible. And where are the new buildings, by the way? Where are the new buildings? We're getting there. Just be patient. Four, five, seven, six, eight, uh, two, nine, uh, one, uh, seven. Okay. Carolyn, darling, what do you want to see? This is this is something. Maybe we'll have him do a U-turn um, and get some coffee. Maybe do you, would you like a Starbucks, darling? Or um, Did somebody something? say U-turn? Hold on. <sighs> okay. Oh. No, like, oh. I'm so nauseous right now. I'm so oh. nauseous. I do not. Oh my god. Oh, you want to go back the other way? Hold on. Oh. No. Uh, oh. What? All right, guys. This is this is unacceptable. This is so boring. Um, so boring. <sighs> I just wanted to like. I I need. <sighs> hey. Hey, how you doing, Swinger? Doing all right. How are you? <laughs> Good. Hey. Wow. How's it going? Hey. Party line might not be my gig. Looking great, Barbara. Yeah. Hey. Hey. What? Looking what? okay, uh, Carol. Well, okay, thanks. I appreciate that. I do. I tried. Hey, uh, I thought hey. maybe we could. I thought maybe we could just like make dinner at home tonight. Barbara, Barbara. Yes, Barbara. I I really need you at my place tonight, honestly. Oh, we're out of rotation. <laughs> Carol, it's Carol's night. What you gonna make, Carol? I'm not asking you, Hank. I want Barbara. Sorry, Hank. Sorry. I, I feel bad that we can't have Hank. Right. Rules are rules. It's okay. I dig it. Ah, swinger. That's why you're the swinger. <laughs> you got it, Barb. But I'm gonna go. Bye. I'll I'll catch you later, Barbara, when Hank's not around, okay? Carol. <laughs> she <laughs> just she just don't dig it. She doesn't. Never have. Yay. Good job, team. Ooh. Thank you. Yay. Everybody, give it up for sensitive people. Ooh. Thank you so much to Michael for playing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank Thanks everybody for joining us tonight. Um, we are sensitive people, and um, you can follow us on Instagram at Reno Improv. And uh, we hope to see you guys soon again. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you, sensitive people, for this amazing show. And uh, um, I know many people will uh, uh, find more information about you. We'll join you on the social networks to uh, to know when are your upcoming shows, your upcoming events. Thank you, and thank you, Michael Olivier again. So, if you want to share some love with Michael Olivier, um, there are there is the info 
his Venmo info here on chat. So feel free um, to tip him, uh, to thank him also uh, for this great music during all the jam. Okay, thank you, thank you so much, sensitive people, because here. Thank you, Evans. Uh, uh, would you like um, to share more info with us, more um, to promote? Oh, people? sure. Yeah. I mean, if you yeah. guys are in Reno sometime and the theater is open, come on in. Um, hopefully the pandemic leaves soon than later. I don't mean that politically or anything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Vince. We we all hope that everything will be will be great, yeah, and uh, the pandemic will be just a memory uh, for us in the in the future. Uh, thank you, thank you, Katie. Um, would you like also to to share some more uh, information with us? Tell us. No, something. just just thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. And um, yeah, just to echo what Vince said, if anybody's in. Reno to stop by. We have shows every Saturday, and um, we have. We're hoping to start our playground or our jam um, session too on Saturdays. So, um, yeah, look us up. <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. great, great. Thank you, thank you, Katie. Thank you, sensitive people, uh, for this great, this great performance. And uh, and so um, next week we will have cousins. Uh, as headliners for next week, uh, the amazing Alex Taylor and David Hepburn will be here. Um, and and now it's the moment uh, uh, for us to play the line game. Yes, where everybody can participate. Uh, sensitive people, if you'd like, you can also participate here on line game. And I will invite Jess, Jess, to lead this line game. Come on, Jess. Thank you very much today. Uh, uh, inspired by us having some sensitive people around, we're going to do what it take what takes a lot of sensitivity, and that's a breakup. And this game is called It's Not You, It's Me. And basically what's going to happen is we're going to use the phrase, it's not you, it's me, and we're going to break up with the audience um, as gently as possible using a suggestion. So to get started, I'll go first. Um, what is a suggestion, a one word suggestion? Sadness. Sadness. All right. It's not you, it's me. I just can't turn my frown upside down. So that's a very simple one, but you're going to be funnier than I am. So if you want to do a line, just pop on the screen and I'll call on you. Vince. Yes. Give me something, honey. Nope. Starting with sadness. Oh, oh. sadness. My God, I've been so sad. I, so sad. I mean, sad, man. I mean, I see the level 10 sadness, but I'm at a level 15, man. <sighs> All right, Robert. Uh, it's not you. It's me. It's just I, I like happy people. You're you're horribly sad. And I know there's issues, you know you know that thing from the doctor and so forth but i gotta move on i'm sorry <laughs> all right can we get uh another suggestion so katie's in the bird box here oh. library library um i just um i have something to tell you um but i i don't i'm not very good with words um verbal words so i i I wrote a book called I'm Breaking Up With You. Okay, and now we've got Brian. It's not you, it's me. I just, our relationship has to become a postscript. <laughs> uh, I did not mention this. It can also be, it's not me, it's you. So we can be accusatory, but that's not as sensitive. So Don. It's not me, it's 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 not you it's it's i'm so confused and and i want to shout it at the top of my lungs here in this library <laughs> all right can i get another suggestion calendar calendar it's not you it's me i just can't keep a date <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Ryan. It's not me, you. It's it's me. I you just make me too dazed. <laughs> Katie. It's not you, it's me. I just can't pencil you in. Angel. It is not me, it's you. Because you don't remember that today it's our marriage anniversary. So the marriage, it's over. <laughs> That's a slice of life there. Let's get one more suggestion. Candy. Candy. Brian. Uh, it's not you, it's me. I found new Tootsie and I got a roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is our line game. Thanks everyone for playing. I'll turn it back over to Angel. Thank you, thank you, Jess, for leading this line game. Thank you so much. And thank you again to all the volunteers who are here tonight, like Jess. Feel free to turn on your cameras for everybody to, to be conscious of this amazing team that is behind the magic. Volunteers, Woo! Yes. give it up for our volunteers tonight. And if everyone wants to come on, on, on screen, we can take a, our final picture too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the moment of our final picture. <laughs> Ooh. Vince is already posing. <laughs> He's taking it. <laughs> uh, uh, trying to get the stupid thing to. Uh. There we go. All right, I took a few, so we're good. There we Yay. go. Oh. That one will be blinking in all of them. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, everybody. These. Jam was amazing, but now it's coming to an end. Uh, to an end, yeah. But we'll be back. We'll be back every every Sunday night. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It's real. It's not. It's not me. It's you. It's us. It's everybody. It's everybody. Yeah. It's coming to an end. Brian, um, are you ready to turn off our streaming? Right. Bye, internet. Okay, bye. bye. This bye. has been the... Yeah.